Okay, another episode on uh, the economy, uh, which sucks. <laughs> it's uh, it's, it's more, uh, April uh, 2022, and everything's going really downhill really quick because the Democrats are pushing the clean and green, you know, use electric cars that go 100 miles a day, yeah, so you can't even see your relatives, and you can't go... You know, you can't be a tourist anymore and go on vacation and all that. And, um, uh, you know, they want you to use windmills where there's no wind. So there's no, you know, electricity. Uh, they want you to go electric cars. Like I say, they only go 100 miles a day, which is crazy. You know, I mean, where can you go in 100 miles? Can't see your relatives. Can't go uh, to Disney World. You can't do anything on a 100 mile car, electric car. Uh, they want you to go to solar power, um, which if there's any shade, you get no electricity. Um, you know, I mean, I like the the clean and green. I, I like the you know trying to get the carbon uh, carbon emissions down, and there's there are many ways to do that. You know, using oil and gas and everything, and I'm totally for that. But when they cut off our oil supply and say, okay, let's go clean and green, and they haven't set up the superstructure where you can do that, you know, to, to charge your electric car, and uh, you have no solar panels, and you have no windmills and everything else, that's sheer stupidity. Because you shut down our country, and you haven't set up any superstructure to provide uh, the energy for the people living in the country. So these people, you know, from mostly from California, uh, that are coming up with this. Uh, that Vice President Harris, I, I mean, she's she's whacked out, totally whacked out. I mean, just look at her eyes. I mean, she's that that was the first country, uh, first state, I should say, that uh, legalized marijuana. She's, she's definitely smoking pot. I, I've seen people smoke a pot. She's like, she's always laughing. She's whacked out. I don't smoke pot. I don't do any drugs at all. Uh, she's whacked out. I, I mean, when I was younger, I, I smoked some pot, yeah. And I could tell when somebody's stoned. <laughs> and that woman is stoned. I don't know how she got to be vice president. Though, but um, And vice pr uh, the president, Sleepy Joe... He's on heavy medications. I don't know what types of medications, but he's falling asleep. Like in major conferences, like recently, international conferences, very important conferences. And he and he's in the audience, sitting in his chair, and he's, you know, being caught on tapes, falling asleep, literally. That's why they call him Sleepy Joe. So he's on heavy medications. If a war breaks out, we got 15 minutes for our president, our commander in chief, to make uh, the proper decisions to our military to shoot the missiles, basically. Otherwise, we're wiped out. It all happen within 10 or 15 minutes. You, we can't have a president that's sleeping on the job, basically. He's sleeping on the job. And he's called Sleepy Joe. Okay. Um, so anyway, he decides. Uh, the Democrats decide to shut down our oil industry. To uh, Keystone Pipeline, put more regulations on our oil industry to stifle them, and all of a sudden, yeah, we're uh, importing oil from our enemies. Who, if a war broke out, they would shut us down instantly. They was they would just sh cut off the oil supply and and kick our ass because we have no superstructure anymore for our oil industry because these. Um, whacked out people on drugs from California and everything else, uh, you know, they, they want to go clean and green, which will take 20 to 25 years. Switch over this country to windmill power, which doesn't work in most places in the country. Solar power that doesn't work in most places in the country because the uh, clouds, solar panels do not collect electricity when it's cloudy. Um, electric cars, we won't be able to go anywhere. 
Can you imagine if our trucking industry went over to 100 mile? Um, they could only go 100 miles to truck our products. We have no electric trucks at all. So we got these idiots. I mean, they're total idiots. They're high on something. I don't know what they're high on, but they're, um, they're not thinking things through. They don't have the superstructure in place. Uh, our trucking industry, our trucks have to go 800 miles a day at minimum. Uh, and they have no electric trucks in place. So, okay, all of a sudden they close our uh, oil industry down, and now we're paying 51% more in just the last year since Sleepy Joe Biden got in there, our, our president. 51% increase in one year? And in California, 63% increase in gas prices. They're paying uh, over $7 a gallon now. This is this is nuts. We got to get these people out of there. They're 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 stoned. They're on drugs. They're stoned. I don't know, but they're they're whacked out. We got to get, um, you know, people in there that are responsible. These Democrats in there are t totally whacked out. A shift. Gosh, that guy is a wacko. I got shift. I mean, and Pelosi. They're both nuts. We got to get those people out. And Pelosi is, uh, you know, she's on drugs too. I mean, you can just look in her eyes. She's, you know, she's she's whacked out too. We got to get somebody like Trump. President Trump doesn't do any drugs. He doesn't even drink alcohol. He was a super fighter for this country. America was first. Okay, we got to get those kind of people back into office okay wake up people you know um, when you got these wackos uh, look what happened um, okay rent went up five percent on average in the country in the last year since sleepy Joe uh, President Biden's been in there food's gone up from ten percent for average things up to 30 to 50 percent increases on meat in just one year 30 to 50 percent like on chicken and stuff like used to be able to get drumsticks and wings and uh, thighs for $1.49 a pound now it's over four dollars a pound um, transportation uh, which would be a taxis buses trains 22 percent increase since the president, this new president got in here, this Democratic president. And like I said, gas is uh, on average 48% up to 63% increase. Um, so anyway, let's wake up people. I was a Democrat my whole life until um, uh, you know, and uh, up until uh, recently and I switched over to become a Republican because I saw what was happening uh, and uh, this last um, uh, election I, I voted for Trump I switched over from the Democratic Party it's very easy you know there's no no you don't have to fill out forms or anything go from Democrat to Republican I was a Democrat my whole life and when I started to see uh, what was going on in the Democratic Party and their agenda, uh, which had made no sense for our country. So now look what's happened. Our inflation rates, the average person now is paying 300, uh, average family is paying $350 a month more on all their bills. So that's what you get. Okay. Switch over to become a Republican. You don't even have to switch over. You just you just vote uh, for the next Republican, and, and hopefully uh, President Trump will, uh, you know, go back into office. And he changed this whole country over. I mean, uh, everything was going great until uh, S Sleepy Joe got in there, and and that woman Harris. I, I you know. Uh, anyway. 
that's this this rambling on about politics. This is Eagle Eric out in the uh, Sonoran Desert signing off.